let's get into it. Brent Hatley used to be on Bubba the Love Sponge, and then he became a member of the Howard Stern Show, yep. which is where I know him from. Yeah. He was frequently on air, and the way he was getting on air was by talking about all of his sexcapades with his wife. They are swingers, and all they talk about is really gross sex stuff. Yeah. And listening to the show reminded me of how much I hated Brent on the Howard Stern show. It's just shit I don't want to think about or hear ugly people talk about. Right. It's a bunch of fours talking about how horny they are for each other. Correct. Oh, God, it's like really... It, the worst thing that they could have done is televised, like made a, a video thing. At least if it's audio, you can be like, oh, maybe they're hot. But then they right. show up on their Twitch stream and you're like, oh, they're disgusting. This is disgusting. <laughs> I'm disgusted. Yes. yes. Exactly. And it's interesting because you have this guy who's been in radio. And the reason why I set it up with, he was on Bubba the Love Sponge, he was on Howard Stern. He's been on large radio shows. He has no idea how to broadcast. It's baffling. And that... then they have this other guy, Jeff, on there who's also from Bubba. Yeah. And I don't know what he's doing. He's just like staring at a computer screen and giggling. Yeah, And it's interesting. The show starts, they have these fun little cartoon graphics where Brent looks like he's in the isotopes. He looks yeah. like Croge. And, the, <laughs> and then they have a real sexed up version of his wife that's unrealistic. Right. And then it's just like, and Jeff Linton, it's just a black form of with no thought at whatsoever <laughs> put into this guy being on the show. It's really... Uh, well, it actually is very fitting then for what his role is on the show. Yeah, and I think where he ended up with the show. So there's a ton of episodes of this. And I was going to get into it, and people were sending me clips and things, and I realized it's just too much Brent Hatley. Uh, so the only thing that I did was they recounted the time that Brent went to L.A. with the Stern Show back in October last year. Okay. They, they made this trip, and I was listening to the Stern Show back then, so I remember all of this. They made a trip out to L.A., and Brent was given permission to sleep with some chicks while he was out there. Right. And that was going to be a big deal. And so the episode that I listened to was two hours of them talking about that. Oh, only two. Because I listened to the first one. Uh-huh. Three fucking hours. Oh, you listened to a three hour long it was, podcast? It was maddening. It, it ruined my whole week. It, it took me forever <laughs> to figure out how to fucking watch it. It took me forever to figure out how to clip it. It took me forever to listen to it. I, it ru I'm serious. It took the, me all week. Have you noticed this trend lately, Chris? People come over here and they're pissed about the amount of homework they have to do. When are people just going to stop coming out of the show? Shh. What, <laughs> are people just like, no, I don't want to do that. That sounds terrible. I really should start saying, no, nah, we're not doing that one. <laughs> you probably should. I sent you the one to watch, though. I didn't want you to spend three hours the, of your the time. The first thing you sent me was the... The first episode. Oh. So that's the one I watched. Oh, so okay. That's the one I, I did. I didn't get a chance to check that one out, but I'm, I joined I'm Twitch for this. Did you really? Did you give them money? Because this is a paid show. No, you have to I give them money. No, I didn't give them money, but I okay. joined, after I listened to Dick Masterson talk about the guy that's suing Twitch because he jerked off so yeah. hard that he, <laughs> yeah. he shaved his tip and <laughs> short circuited his computer because it yeah. was so hot. I was like, well, let's see what's going on in Twitch. <laughs> It's pretty fucking boring, honestly. Yeah, Twitch is not a place that I would go. It wouldn't be my first go-to for jerk-off material. No. <laughs> this guy obviously doesn't know about myfreecams.com. But yeah, you go on there, and then Brent's trying to bleed you for fucking money. It's like, fuck off, dude. I'm not paying well, you have, money. They have 5,900 subscribers to their channel or their show or whatever it is. They do not. Really? I think so. Because a lot that's of the, the number I saw. Because a lot of it is ads for like, hey, watch this one. And then you look down, and it says three views. Oh, yeah. like, who, who the fuck is watching? Just because someone subscribes doesn't mean they're actually interested in it. I mean, Brent is well known. Brent Hantley got a lot of airtime. I, I mean, I knew who he was before on the we Howard did this. A lot of the pods that we do, we're like, I, I don't even know who this is until we yeah. start talking about it. So let's get back to Jeff real quick, and then we can move on from him. Yeah. He has nothing to add to the show. Here is a joke that he throws out there because they're talking about playing poker. You can only imagine the quick wit on this guy. He was out playing poker and on trying my to home. play poker, playing poker and trying to poker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. There've been no laughs. What do you mean? I'm... None. This is the level of entertainment that we're talking about. These people have nothing to talk about, and Brent Hatley is only remotely interesting when Howard Stern is driving the conversation. Yeah, and directing him on where to go. Brent by himself with his fucking annoying wife. Oh, <laughs> speaking of annoying wives, 
Caitlin, they're all drinking. And Caitlin, I know, it's crazy. And Caitlin is burping and like really happy about it yeah. as if this is in 2020, this is edgy <laughs> content. Whoa, they're burping on Twitch? Get no wrong. Yes. So here's a couple examples of that. And so I was lucky enough to be selected to go. Uh, that one had a little bit of steam. Thanks. Get that, there. Was all, that was only off of like a couple sips. Too. Gotta crawl for you walk. That's true. That's I'm, tr- true. I'm, trying get, couple I'm, sips. I'm trying to get through a broadcast oh, here. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> a realistic broadcast. How old are these people? They're like, oh, that was a good burp. Yeah. Oh, that, good one. That happens about four times an episode. Yeah, yep, here's another one. So we wanted to make it fair and equal as possible. So we're both going to hook up with the same amount of people while we were gone. Right. Um, so, and. Uh, oh, my God. Can I get through a broadcast without you interrupting? Maybe. Oh, my God. Probably not. I, I'm drinking beer, so I'm going to have a little bit. Does that sound like an attractive person to you? One more. <laughs> it's not. It's no. not an attractive person. Spoiler alert. <laughs> one, one more burp here. Mon- none of this came up till Monday. Uh, oh, my God. Was the Benji bit on Monday? <laughs> and you listen to a whole different episode. What do you yeah. got, buddy? You got a clip that sums up the show for you? Well, I got... Brett is very excited to have his own show, clip four. All right. Uh, we've been doing it for a long time. So we're ready to. Ah! Oh, Jesus, God. Man. We're ready to uh, bring this into fruition now and, and do a full show every day. Get crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm on board. <laughs> like that. Oh. Tourette's. We can all look forward to more of that. Okay. So this is the very first episode that came out on 420, right? Yeah. So Clever. Yeah, I know. Good one. So. He's all excited, and he. I have clips where he talks about why he left Stern, and I don't know if he, he talked about that on the episode that you listened to. That's all he ever talks about. Okay. He has three things to talk about. Bubba, Howard, or swinging. Yes. Oh, and, and drinking. Right. <laughs> but swinging and drinking usually go hand in hand. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of that. All right. So let's talk about him leaving Howard Stern and the reasons why. Do you have any clips that... Uh, where he describes that. I have some if you don't. I have more clips about... Clip 9 is, you know, them sort of justifying that they wanted to leave Stern. Right. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, hear, yeah. let's hear that. Okay, let's hear that. And I've had this vision to do this show. And Jeff will tell you, we've had this vision for, for many years, for two decades at least. Yes, it's been about 20 years we've had this vision to do this show. So this isn't... Uh, what the point I want to make is this isn't new and this isn't all of a sudden and this just didn't come out of nowhere. No, right? no. This was this was something we had planned for a long time. This- um, and also, you know, we actually took a, a long time. It wasn't just something that we were like, oh, we're going with Twitch and that's it and... We talked this through and through, and then we, you we know, talked with our agent. Yeah, and then we, um, you know, once we decided we were definitely doing this, we contacted Jeff and said, "Hey, are you ready to go? I know that this is, you know, we've been talking about this for a while. Are you ready?" And he was like, "Fuck yeah!" So for twenty years, we talked about being um, instead of being omnipresent on the Howard Stern show, let's be barely present on Twitch. <laughs> right? Call Jeff. Yeah, and they make it seem like Twitch was reaching out to them. Like, Twitch <laughs> could not wait to get the Brett Hatley show yeah. on their platform. Because how are we going to get these boomers who think Bubba the Love Sponge is yeah. funny? How are we going to get them to watch Twitch? Yeah. Let's get Brett Hatley yeah. and Jeff. Contact my agent. It's so stupid. Hey, agent, reach out to Twitch. So this, get... is, this is him explaining why he left Howard Stern on this episode from May 7th. So this would be a, a few weeks after what we just played for you. What caused me to leave was I, 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 I'd had enough of being in New York City, and I'd had enough of being on other people's shows. That's what I'd done my whole career. I wanted to do this show that we're doing here with these people for you our way. Okay. You always know when someone's lying when they have a whole bunch of reasons. Well, I didn't want to be in New York anymore. And plus, you know, I've always wanted to do my own show. I don't want to be on Stern show. And then I know that he's lying because Caitlin follows up with a completely different story right after that doesn't hurt to to you just... and i want to point out these levels are all over the fucking place these are professional broadcasters she's so far away from yeah. her mu- the mic she's right. a, she's back here like mumbling yeah. double, 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 double. and <laughs> brent's holding the microphone like he's in a metal band yeah up to, on his face it's like Sometimes, dude times you guys sound all... like right it's like yeah. you guys sound like shit your show sounds like shit yeah this isn't our fault that it sounds like shit people <laughs> for once yeah all right here we go doesn't hurt to to we don't first off 
everybody knows the deal with Howard's contract. Nobody has any idea what he's doing at the end of the year. Yeah. Who wants to be with 80 other people or however many people work there looking for a job in radio if Howard were to not uh, sign a new contract? Yeah, not even, yeah, resign a new contract. Yeah. So, um, you know, he's no one said anything still. Nobody knows but him what's going on. So I'd rather go through the pain now. Right. And when we still can. So she just described that Howard might not continue to do his show and that's why they lie mm -hmm. which makes no sense because she goes well then there'll be 80 people out of a job all looking for a job in radio but i thought you wanted to do this show that's not on radio yeah we've so been what does planning that this for 20 years yeah so what does that have to do with anything <laughs> what are you talking about why would you leave the howard stern show because you thought maybe he wouldn't renew his contract in a year yeah it's because they're lying about because they're lying yeah. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have a clip 10, which is another justification for why they're why Brett got fired, basically. But yeah. why they would leave. Okay. Lots of teabacks and bikinis and uh, titties are bouncing. And so what's funny is a lot of people think that you took this major pay cut to do the whole thing yourself. The thing is, is it was so expensive to live. Yeah, you made good money, but it was so expensive to live. It's like night and day. Down here, you can live on almost nothing. Right. Well, it's a good thing that you can live on nothing because that's how much you're making now. <laughs> right. Yeah, it worked out well. Listen, I get it, man. I don't know how much Howard pays his staff. I don't think it's a ton. Yeah. And I don't even know if it's up to Howard. It's probably up to Sirius. But there, living in New York sucks. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a, the it's, cost of living there. This is, is a good time part. to get the fuck out. Dude. Right. That's why when you <laughs> look at how much people are offering when they're making job offers for you to go work there, they're always like, six figure salaries yeah because your take home is in the toilet because of the rent and how much food is and all the blah 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 but you know i got a pro tip for you though just stop paying the rent <laughs> yeah you right. can save so <laughs> much point. money when you just don't pay your when rent you just declare squatters rights if you live in new york that you cannot be evicted if you don't pay your rent this is a new rule or law or whatever the fuck cuomo's calling it is this pre-COVID? No, this, this is post-COVID. Post -COVID. Right, yeah. yeah. So just stop paying your rent. Yeah. What are they going to do? Right. What the fuck? Beat up your landlord. You, you, you now make $3,000 more a month. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. I want to talk about the way these fucking idiots talk because it's so obnoxious. I find it to be off-putting and unfunny. Oh. I'll play a couple examples and then we can we can get into it. This is Brent explaining the sex he had with some chick in L.A. We get into a couple of different situations. You start uh, lappy lappertaining yeah, his. Yeah, that, <laughs> and then the 60 Nizine, and uh, then we start, you know, having sex, and then she's like, oh, Doggy's my favorite. <laughs> so I'm, uh, we're doing Diz Doggy, and then uh, I start spanking her, and she's like, harder, harder, and like, it was like... So... When you're not funny or witty or have anything interesting to say, you just start to say words that are nonsensical to try yeah. to be interesting. Like it's 1998 and you're Snoop Dogg. Lappy, Lappy Lappertinning her piss. <laughs> this is an adult woman saying this. This is an adult. He started 60 nizining her. Yeah. 60 yeah. nizining? Right. Doesn't even make sense. What could have been a sexy story is now a Dr. Seuss book. We did it Dizoggy style. You did? fucking nonsense here's another example of this once we finished the first time she was like hey you wanna you wanna you wanna you wanna fizz again how long did she sizz your diz before you fizzed again probably about five minutes yeah. like she got it really you know rock hard yeah ugly people saying sizz your diz until you fizz is not fun no. it's not fun to watch it's not fun to think about oh god oh speaking of things that aren't fun to it. think about Caitlin talks about they had so much sex when he got back from L.A. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They had so much sex that her beave was swollen. But my beave was so sore and swollen that when I walked, it actually turned me on. <laughs> that doesn't even make fucking sense. Where, <laughs> where's my drop for that? Uh, that? That doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense, Rick. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, my uh, private parts were in so much pain that I was just jizzing every every which way all the time. <laughs> what? 
I got my clip eight is a super cut of a lot of the gross sex talk. Oh, like three man. hours of podcasting. It's not even all of it. It's just a lot of it. Okay. So what she's talking about is we have an extra room here at the house, and we're looking for a sex slave to fill that room up, right? That's what we're going to go with. Out of control. That's what we're going to go with. <laughs> Tongue or pong. Oh my God! Well, there's well, well bung tongings. We figured it out. There's Socket? a lot of. Um, no, I mean you might well, not. I don't care. I'm I'm interested and curious so in curious and everything. Any slinky, any slinky. If it's small you. and ugly, I'll laugh. If it's nice and big, I'll go hmm. And if it's titties, I don't care. They can be saggy. They can be big. They can be small. I don't care. Lucky, I'm not sitting next to you. I would lick your Heart face. Heart throb. Oh yeah, I'm Hatley. Bl- you, you stay over there. You don't need to lick my face. That's it's a fucking. Disgusting. Let's everybody settle you down. You just wait. We'll kick back off the swinging and the clam licking. What what else you got? Oh, I was just going to say, I actually really enjoy walking around nude. In fact, I'm trying to find a bar that will let me. Uh, <laughs> I just finally got Carla to throw shit. up. Fuck that shit. Nah. Fuck that. I want a fire pit. I want some bush light. Maybe some shots. I want to get fucking nuts and maybe fuck half the people at the uh What about a trailer? <laughs> I've been in trailers. A lot of them are very nice. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. Yeah. So I guess what we're doing right now, what Andy and I are doing, is we were tortured this week, and now we're torturing all of you. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be subjective. Sorry. Because I was thinking about, while that was playing, I'm like, why, why are we making people listen to this? I'm like, oh, that's right, because we had to listen to this. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually quite justified. Yeah. Here's even more sex talk, Andy. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, it was to the point where if I was cooking, he would come up and start losing my, uh, my beaver <laughs> while I was cooking. Damn. And so I'd have to put, I'd have to turn the burner off and we'd do it. And then I finished cooking. And then while we were eating, this is the same meal. Yeah. While we were eating, I would start sizzing his diz. Ugh. With a mouthful of guacamole. What are you doing? You're so fucking disgusting. They're so disgusting. I don't want to hear about sex during dinner. Yeah. Like food and sex are very separate things. It's, it's a big red flag when you're when you have to eat and have sex at the same time. Like I I just, I just can't wait. I can't put the food down long enough to When you say red flag, dip. you mean mental illness? Yeah. Is that what you're referring to? I agree. <laughs> and I hate how Caitlin talks about how hot she is. Her self-esteem is a little bit out of whack. It's Patrick Michael level. It's Patrick Michael level <laughs> self-esteem. <laughs> This is her talking about how hot she is and how hot her, their sex was, and I don't even fucking know. But um, so hot they, lingerie, oh just put it that way. Oh my god, so hot. So uh, I show, like, I open the door of this lingerie where there's like the bra is open and your yeah, boobs are open. just hanging out, and uh, like they have ma- matching thong and stuff. And we started having sex, and we didn't have sex except to sleep a few hours here and there for like a week. Yeah, I straight. actually. Called out of work a few days so that I could be with Brent and have sex. Poundings. Oh my God! Uh, and by the way, lingerie is not hot. It's the person wearing the lingerie. I had this lingerie that was hot. It, that's not possible. Yeah. No one wants to see your body. Her boobs are fucking stupid. stupid she got a boobs. boob job, and they're stupid looking. They look like idiots. Her boobs. They're like dumb boobs idiots. Are idiotic. They fucking stink. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, in my uh, clip one, they talk about all this. Things that they're going to do on the channel. We're going to go to New Orleans all the time. We're going to have beach volleyball. It's going to be the world's greatest sleepover every night. And then one of the things is Caitlin is going to do yoga for like a fitness hour on one of the nights. Yeah. So that clip one is them describing that. Uh, just to give you an idea, Wednesday night we're going to do Getting Sweaty with Caitlin. So you'll see these bombs shaking around. As she leads you through exercises. I heard that this channel got shut down too, right? Yeah. This is a, oh, screen, you have gra- it? a screen grab of Caitlin doing yoga. Oh my gosh, she's fat. <laughs> oh God. She, it's a green screen and she is a, a, on a dock in front of a lake. And the green screen is like cut out at the knees. Yeah. It looks like she's fallen through the dock. That's so stupid. 
Do they know that there's actually hot chicks who are naked on the internet all the time? Yeah. Do they know what they're competing with? By the way, because we can all see her and she's talking about how hot she is and how sexy she is all the time, they do have to say this, which I thought was hilarious. No, he saw pictures of me, but he was still... I look better in person than in pictures. Oh, yeah, way better in person. Well, I can take the best picture of me, and I still look better on any day than that picture in person. And so he was pleasantly surprised. Uh, You guys are looking at me right now, and I I look like I'm a six, but I'm way hotter in person. (laughs) Every every personal ad has used this argument. It's like, here's a picture of a model that's hot. Call me. You call somebody (laughs) who's not that person shows up. You're so desperate to fucking get laid that you're like, oh, I guess I'll fuck this slob. That's what's happening here. You know, it's not that you look better in person. It's that they're just, they don't want to start all over from square one and have somebody else that is, you know, whatever, lying to them on the internet show up. Seems to me like you're the expert, Mark. (laughs) Yeah, with all the whores. You know about this? (laughs) So, uh, if you want me to cut that out and pause, just let me know, Andy. <laughs> so, I'm joking, so you can leave it in. Sure. We're both, <laughs> we're, both, we we're both winking at each other. You guys can't see that. I'm winking with joking. both <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love it when someone who's unattractive, who talks about how hot she is, judges other people's attractiveness. This is always fun. This doesn't make you a total cunt or anything. So, this this guy's name was Tom. This was the guy that was... Eh. Okay. Like, I don't know. I I give him in my book like a five and a half. Damn, Tom took a hit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Poor Tom. I mean, he was all right. Again, he was nice. Five and, and a half though. You know, <laughs> whatever. It's fine. Maybe a six. Maybe, but I don't know. <laughs> he's a bubble six. It, maybe. Okay. So um Jesus Christ. I'm the one judging people's looks around here. <laughs> Not you, Caitlin. I'd love to know what you give yourself. <laughs> I'll be throwing out the numbers. Oh, by the way, Brent rated himself as a seven when he was at the Howard Center. That's Stern insane. Show. Of course it is. He's a fucking troglodyte. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a shaved ape. <laughs> <laughs> so the question at the end of the show, they say, we're going to answer any questions you guys have. We're going to answer anything you guys have. So one of the questions was about Caitlin getting an OnlyFans account. Um, would Brent be okay with Caitlin having an OnlyFans page? Yeah, of course. But here's the thing: I'd be okay with it, and I've and I've warned her about this. Is going into porn? That's a line that once you cross it, you can't uncross it. Yeah. So, all right. Here's the problem, guys, with your business model. <laughs> Have you been on OnlyFans? It's nothing but smoking hot tens who are taking their clothes off. And then you have Caitlyn. Who the fuck is going to want to pay for that? And I think the problem is Caitlyn's one of these chicks who is hot for a, for a employee of the Howard Stern show's wife. She's attractive. I see what you're saying. Right? I mean, compared to what these fucking losers... <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I'm sure they're all very attractive people, but they right. build it up on the show and make her think that she's like the smoking hot right. shit. Compared to everyone in line at 7-Eleven, maybe she's the best yeah, looking the, person there. May, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Where, where's the 7-Eleven located? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Right. That's the problem with this woman. Aren't there like... An OnlyFans account? Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> you think Are... people are going to pay to watch you take your clothes off? I'd give you 20 bucks right now to keep your clothes on. <laughs> 20 bucks. Are there also podcast hosts trolling their co-hosts on OnlyFans? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do have an OnlyFans account. If you want to check out Carl Kripoff, you can, uh, you can check that out. All right, Andy, I've been hogging the board. What do you got, buddy? Okay, well, Brett, I think, is trying to do, like, this frat guy thing. Hey, we're drinking. We're, we're all about drinking. His name's and- Brent, by the way. Brent, Brett. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's Brandon, me. Brendan. <laughs> right. Fuck off. Good point. <laughs> you gotta choose one. Yeah. Clip two is sort of uh, Brett, <laughs> Brent fratting out. I like that you call this frat Hatley. <laughs> you guys must have had some of my makers, Mark. No. To, uh, no. For... We were with, we were on tequila. That was all you. So was I it? Drank... More than half a bottle, right? No, it wasn't half a bottle. About, it was about, about a th- half a bottle. No, it was about a third. Let's, mm. let's be, let's. Mm. Maker's Mark. And then, you know, I I sipped on a couple of beers is the way that I... Yeah, but you drank a whole quarter of a bottle yourself. 
of Maker's Mark. So yeah. digging, really digging into the Maker's Mark. Yeah, you were digging in. Mm. When you got Junior saying something that you, you, you're peppering the, the liquor, you, you know you're in a situation. Yeah, so. And you, just, and you kept drinking after the show, too. You just kept downing the Bush Light. Well, Bush Light, I mean, is a, it's just a sip on. Uh-huh, to sip on. <laughs> We were sipping or on chug some... in your case. How poor are these people? Bush Light? <laughs> I know. He brings up Bush Light so fucking much. He's got to be angling for a sponsor. Oh, because they didn't talk about Bush Light at all on the episode. That oh, I listened my to, God. So. But th- I did a super cut right after that. The clip three. It's okay. just like, shut the fuck up. Really... This is what they do. I got another one that's like this. Just like, let's lean into this so hard and beat it into the fucking ground. And somebody started digging into the maker's mark. It's digging into the maker's mark. You guys must have had some of my maker's mark. The maker's mark. Of maker's mark. So digging, really digging into the maker's mark. You're not getting a sponsorship from maker's mark. Shut up. <laughs> or bush light. Jesus Christ. See, this so- is the problem with Twitch in general, is these people have to fill so much fucking time. Have you looked at their schedule? They're on yeah. like almost every day. Yeah. For hours. Right. And they have to fill so much time, and it's just a fucking hanging out and chatting with people show. So you're just going to repeat yourself and have nothing to talk about. Yeah, I know. Especially if your life is, I run a Twitch stream. What other world experiences are you going to talk about? I was mm. on the Howard Stern show. Yeah, we know. What else you got? Yeah. Oh, I, uh, I don't know. Oh, well, Bubba did this one time said this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. That was 20 years ago. What else Did you, you look at the Twitch at all? Yeah. Okay. Well, Jeff's not even on it anymore. Oh, good. I, the, every video that I saw that I tried to get on, and then they were like, oh, it'll be six bucks. And I said, no, thank you. Six was, bucks to watch a video of them? Like for a month. Oh, it's six, okay. six dollars a month. Okay. But yeah, if I wanted to watch bad. one, I'd have to pay the six right, bucks. Right, I'm right. not that's doing a, that. That's a bad decision. But it's all, it's all just the two of them sitting there. and it With a green like, screen. With a shitty green screen. It went screen. from the, this one was three hours that I listened to. The one you listened to was two hours. Yeah. Now they're barely one hour. Oh, okay, good. So I, don't, I don't know what they're the running fuck, out of shit. I don't know what the about. fuck they're doing, but it's crashing and burning. I I will say that COVID is not helping because I think he had a lot, like a lot of big ideas that he can't possibly execute now because of COVID. Okay. So I will concede that, but at the same time, everything that's on there is garbage. You know, if you run a lazy podcast where you just play other people's clips, COVID hasn't affected us at all. Yeah, well, well, right. It's the difference between... It's actually a, easier to do it. I don't travel It's the difference between a smart format and a ridiculous format. That's a good point. Okay. I want to get into their swinging lifestyle because I find uh, it so no. fucking obnoxious. <laughs> and I find these people so annoying. And I have a bunch of clips. And we actually have a guy in the Discord who's a swinger who wants to talk to us a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. I know. I'm not know. blowing you, dude. <laughs> well, Andy, wait until you meet him. <laughs> Let's not jump to conclusions about who's blowing who. So it starts <laughs> off. He's talking about there's a 25. So Brent's trying to line up all these chicks when he's out in L.A. with the Stern show to fuck. And at the same time, Caitlin's lining up guys to fuck. And this is like this thing that they're going to do where, oh, we'll both go and cheat on each other. Because they're, they're a married couple. We'll both go and cheat on each other. And then we'll get back together again and tell the stories of all the people we fucked. So this is kind of uh, setting that up. Got a message from this 25-year-old, like randomly, and that just said, hey, Brent, uh, when you're in L.A., if you want some 25-year-old pussy, just let me know. So I was like... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, really? Is that even a question? And we saw, he showed me pictures of everybody and they were all hot. And I was like, good for you. Great. This sounds, this is going to be fun. Yeah. It was awesome. Oh yeah. It's, it's just going to be great. What could possibly go wrong when two people who are married just start sleeping with random people while they're on the other sides of the country? Yeah. So, and what I'm going to show you here in this series of clips is that the more open you try to be with your relationship and polyamorous, the more rules are involved. Right. And the more difficult it becomes to follow the rules and how the rules change and evolve over time. Uh, But first, this is one of the chicks that agreed to fuck um, Brent out in L.A. Yeah. Turned out to not be so bright. So she gets there, and she's a complete idiot. I mean, she is an idiot. One of the biggest idiots I've ever met in life, in, in any walk of life. Yeah. She agreed to fuck you. She's an idiot. I agree. No shit, Sherlock. So he's talking about his stories and banging Playboy models and whoever else. And she's talking about going out with guys while she's in New York. 
or what? New Jersey, wherever Was they live. Was this woman's pussy retarded? Like, it, you know, it, <laughs> yeah, you don't fuck her brain, <laughs> friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I just didn't care for the prostitute's personality. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, so then uh, apparently Caitlin had a date and they have like a rooftop area of the apartment complex where they live and she took him there and that was a bad idea. So, um, so yeah, so we had a good time and we walked back to the apartment and, um, we went up to the rooftop at uh, the apartment. We had a rooftop, which Brent, I wasn't happy about was this, about by say, the way, Brent wasn't happy about this, but like for me, it had nothing to do with mm -hmm. like a romantic scene. All right. So Brent was fine with her fucking multiple dudes, but didn't want her going to the rooftop with one of the guys. He wasn't happy about that. Weird rule, right? Because it's too romantic? Well, let's find out. Here's some more specific rules about their swinging escapades. This is the, his response. And I again, he was a little smashed at this point. He's like, oh, yeah, I can talk to you. Jenny's in the bathroom right now. And I go, does she not fucking know that you're married? I thought that everybody was in on the deal. What? Wh why do you have to wait till this bitch goes to the bathroom and texts me? Like, I talked about you to um, the guys and she knew the for the whole record. Time. She knew for the record. I was no, married. I know, but you were being weird about that because you were like, oh, I got to make sure she doesn't see me texting my wife. And I'm like, this is the whole deal. Like, I don't understand what the the secrecy was. The whole deal was like the people I hooked up with knew I was married right. and the people you hooked up with knew that we were married. Right. Are you hearing all of these rules that are going on? <laughs> yeah. So Brent called her while his date was in the bathroom and she was upset about that. We got to call me while she's sitting across. You're like, well, it's rude to be on your phone. <laughs> I mean, it, just in general, not even about swinging or anything else. Yeah. It's just rude to be on your phone with someone right. when you're hanging out with somebody else. <laughs> oh, my God. All I right. did watch this one, too, by the way. Oh, you did? You are familiar I, with this. I watched this story. Okay. Uh, and I the whole time I was trying to read their eyes about how upset the other one was about, like, every time Brent was talking about... <laughs> fucking somebody else i was trying to see if caitlin was really disappointed with him or vice versa and they do kind of like just get this glazed over blank stare like william h macy and boogie night yes. right before he kills himself right yes i noticed that too all right so the one of the girls that brent hooked up with in la didn't understand their rules to swinging but the gist of it was she wanted to date Brent for the whole week. Right. Um, and she thought swinging, uh, she's an idiot, <laughs> but she thought swinging means dating. Yeah. Apparently. Yes. So, um, so Brent texts her back. Yeah, sure. Great. Sounds like a plan <laughs> and makes plans with her to, yeah. to, to date her for the rest of the week. So, Okay. So he's allowed to go out there and fuck multiple women, but he can't correspond with them and get together with them multiple times. So this is one of the rules here. And he said, Jenny wants to hook up again. Can I hook up again? And I said, no. I was like, I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm not there. And you're not dating people out there. You're getting laid and you're moving on to the next chick. I'm like, you've got four chicks lined up. Why do you need to keep fucking this chick who you just said wasn't good at sex? Does that sound like someone who's in a laid back relationship? Yeah. Uh, not really. Well, I mean, that's also, insane. I, also, just why wouldn't you just pay a hooker and then she goes away and you never have to deal with try, some girl trying to date you the whole time you're on vacation? That would make a lot more sense. He's not on vacation. He's at, he's at work. Yeah. He went out with the Stern <laughs> Show to put on shows. And meanwhile, the only thing he's worried about is fucking as many chicks as he possibly can. Yeah. Which he's allowed to do, but only one time. <laughs> and they can't go to a rooftop. But he was trying to do it <laughs> even without her permission. He was tr trying to get these girls to... Permission to permission. Well, yeah. What are we yeah, talking right. about here? So here's more rules. In the text that you were talking about, where I text you about Jenny, can I see her again? That was when we were in the Uber on the way back from the show to go to Hollywood Boulevard to do that bit. And I was pretty specific in my answer, which was, fuck no. Have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what we discussed. Caitlin, do you see how confusing this is? Even your husband doesn't understand the fucking rules. He's like, hey, I'm going to go fuck these four chicks. Great, have fun. Have a great time. Hey, is it cool if I message this woman who messaged me? What are you, fucking crazy? <laughs> you want to message her back? What are you guys dating? Like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, you're right. That was dumb. I don't know what how, I was how thinking. How stupid of me. How stupid of me. 
All right, just a few more clips to go through all these fucking rules and how ridiculous this all is. He then messages uh, the 25-year-old on Instagram and says, Hey, uh, can we get, a get together again this week? I'd love to hook up with you again. Yeah, sure, anything you want. She has no idea one way or the other, like, what the deal is between us. It's not her business to know. Right. So there we go, number two, where he already knows the deal. Of course, he doesn't tell me any of this. I find it all out later, but... <sighs> <laughs> <Brett's> like, <"Ugh."> yeah <laughs> oh this this whole thing this whole episode and i've already heard all of this on stern yeah they already went into the stern show and talked about all of this and they had to do it again they rehash it all later. the time it's obnoxious it's the one it's like oh your guy's relationship sucks you have poor communication and you're fucking cheating on each other all the time we get it <laughs> here's more brent breaking rules he went out there going Oh, I'm single for a week, and I can do whatever the fuck I want. Fuck the rules. Fuck, you know, what what uh, my wife said, even though it was my idea, for the record. All right, so what have we established here? I think I've done a pretty good job of laying out the fact that there are many, many rules, and even just doing weird things like sending a text message somehow breaks rules, and you find out after the fact that you weren't supposed to do that, and what the fuck were you thinking? But then Caitlin says this. You can do almost anything but lie to me Is and i'll get over it oh yeah always <laughs> and i'll get over it oh you can do anything it's fine just i, I it was just tell me the truth oh, okay well i did fuck that girl three times what <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't understand how any of this works and i never will because it just seems like a lot of work yeah is it worth it it's is not it worth, worth it's just all too much the, work all of the freaking Tension. This lifestyle and... is exhausting to live in okay. and exhausting to listen to. Yeah. I, I, I know no people in the swingers lifestyle that the, the, doesn't have some kind of a boundary. Yeah, every couple has their own rules, basically. You, yeah, you find you figure them out as you go. And uh, when you don't when you've done something for the first time, like what we did in LA, you don't have you don't know yet. Yeah. I it, it's it's maddening. I, I can't even talk about it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I brought us all yeah. to this point because it's gross and it's manning. gross and manning and stupid. I'm listening to dumb people talk about their relationship sucks because they're doing dumb things, and I just uh, okay. And, Your Pillsbury dough body was gross <laughs> on somebody else's right chlamydia riddled body. Oh, congratulations! You were, you were talking about all the different types of shows they have, and it's like oh, fucking yeah, yeah. sweating with Caitlyn and all this other <laughs> right, shit. Right. Did you know that every Friday they do a party show at five o'clock and she was three hours behind in la so we were already Wasted. long gone because on friday nights just so you everybody knows on friday nights on this show we do a party show which yeah. will be tomorrow five to seven join us for virtual happy hour because we're going to get cranked we're speaking of that I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grab another beverage i think you might need one too no, uh i got one, I got one. Yeah. what about you caitlin i'll uh, be I'm right good. back okay jeff's it's, gonna grab another beverage but, but just not to be confusing four four to five is the three, regular three to I'm five sorry. Three to five is the regular show. Five to seven, virtual happy hour. Join us. Get yeah. your local craft beer, mm -hmm. shots, get everything ready because we party. So we were partying last Friday night and we get... Who the fuck is going to get drunk with Twitch streamers on a Friday at five? People in their 50s. Opie fans. <laughs> are getting drunk on Twitch. You're like, hey, why don't you guys crack a beer and, and hang out with us while we get drunk? I, I hate to break it to you, but that's what's happening right now. Everybody on the Discord is doing that with us right now. We're all fucking sitting here getting drunk. <laughs> We're just not making a big deal out of it. It's not a big deal. It's not the actual content of the show. I'm no, not talking about not, my shitty beverage of choice. It's not content for a show. <laughs> getting drunk is not a show format. Yeah. It's, it's not. A, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a choice we all make, but it's not a show format. Dude, this fucking Jeff guy, they're talking about Michael Rappaport. You remember this, Chris? I know yeah. you're a big rap well, fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't they that, passed by him. Isn't this the whole reason that he got fired? I didn't. Did you dig in? Oh, you? no, I didn't. I really think that, we. I mean, we kind of touched on this early on. The real reason that they left and the real reason that people are just like getting axed off of the Howard Stern show now is because Howard is in negotiations uh, at Netflix uh, to do like a Letterman type of interview thing. Yeah. It's, it's like sense. that only it's going to be Stern. Yeah. Stern's not going to have to get up in the morning anymore. And I know all this because God help me. I was uh, digging into Brent's history. Okay. 
And the most comprehensive thing that I could find on YouTube that sort of summed it all up was Radio Gunk. Oh, okay. So they kind of... I mean, it, I heard that they were feuding with Radio Gunk, that the Brent Hatley show and Radio Gunk had a thing going on. Well, that makes I didn't sense dig because it. everything Brent will tell you about what really happened is the opposite of what they're saying happened, which is Stern is going to end the show, yep. go over to this cushy Netflix thing. You know, yeah, he, he always negotiates a, you know, tens of millions of dollar deal. Oh, so, Netflix will pay $10 million to producer Chris. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have discerning taste when exactly. it comes to talent. So everybody on the Don't sh- get any ideas. Yeah. <laughs> everybody on the show is like, he's going to leave and he's going to go do this because it makes perfect sense yeah. and we're all going to be fucked. Okay. So Brent's like, I guess I'll go over to Twitch because I'm going to get... Because he was getting all these offers anyway. from Twitch. They couldn't yeah. wait to get him and Caitlin on to talk about their <laughs> steamy sex capades. <laughs> Right, okay. but then... What, what does that have to do with Michael Rappaport, though? That's that's right. what I was getting to. I mean, they don't get along in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, Rappaport shits real quick, on him for, all the time. For people who don't know the Howard Stern show, Michael Rappaport's in their fantasy football league. Correct. And he's the world's greatest shit talker. Right. Michael Rappaport's amazing. Right. And he crushes Baba Booey and Brent and all these guys, J.D. Harmeyer. Like, yeah. He, he just crushed them. And he, he has no... He has something going on outside of the Stern show, so he doesn't care who he stamps. You know, who he, who he shits on. Of course. And who he... he sh- by the way, Michael Rapport doesn't care who he shits on, regardless of his connections Thank to anything. Thank God. He's fucking, He's fucking awesome. great. So he'll, he'll <laughs> relentlessly shit on Brent because of that. Yeah. And at one point, I because Brent is uh, very involved in the wrap-up show. Yeah. And Rapport shows up on the wrap-up show all the time. Sure. And it's always fight, 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 fight. To the point that Brent, I think, took a swing at Rappaport. Oh, and is that why he was that, sent to HR at Sirius? Yes. And... Allegedly, according to Monique. Yeah, Monique's kind of an idiot. Well. She doesn't show a stuttering John. Right. I mean, she doesn't. <laughs> she did say no to him. I, she's not that stupid, but. It's all alleged, but that that is the. Back... Well, that was a big setup for this clip that I have. Cool. Thank you for doing that, though. All right. So he's explaining that. The day that he was all flustered on the Stern show and he's all pissed off, he walked by Rappaport on the street. And if Michael Rappaport had noticed him there and said something, he would have beat the shit out of him. And, of course, Jeff says this. What I don't get is why he don't just focus on acting. Yeah. Because he's not too good at that. Yeah. Shitty. Real shitty. So, uh... You're going to make fun of Michael Rappaport for his acting? That's the one thing you can't really make fun of him for. There's a lot of things you could goof on rap for. He's a great actor. I like him. He's a great actor. I, like I think him. everyone agrees on that. Yeah, he on. consistently gets work for decades. Yeah. Watch Justified. <laughs> Tell me that it's not great. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing. Yeah. Th- this guy who used to be on Bubba's show and now is on a Twitch stream with fucking Brent and his dumb wife is going, yeah, rap, Michael Rapport, that guy's way more successful than me in show business. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you can make fun of him. I make fun of people who are more successful than me, but you can't say he's a bad actor. <laughs> okay, whatever. I guess I made my point. Andy, what else you got, buddy? Well, let's go back to the... I have another one of these things where they beat it into the ground. Okay. And one of those things is how much Brent likes to suck on a pregnant woman's titties. Oh, God. I just (laughs) saw the track called Breast Milk, and I was hoping that's not where you were going. (laughs) Fuck. Fuck. Oh. And just, like, let's, let's talk about it, and let's, you know, take a turn of phrase... And just say it over and over and over again instead of, in lieu of having real jokes right. or having real content to talk about, let's just say the same thing over and over and over again. And have some of that milk from the, straight from the tap. I mean, then we're, now we're talking. Mm. I'll, I want some breast milk straight from the tap. <laughs> His sick idea was to make breast milk ice cream and have me eat it, which uh, I did in service to the show. For real? Yeah, I drank like, straight, from right, the, right, right from the tap. Straight from the tap. That was so nice. I Jesus. drank my friends, my best friend's breast milk, that was good. but not from the tap. It was already pumped. I mean, that's the second best thing is pumped, but yeah. you always want to go straight <laughs> from the tap. Wait, wait, exactly. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Were you each on one tit? Oh. No, she had it pumped already, unfortunately. No, I got to go from the tap. I'm trying. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole fun in it. Christ. She has some what, nice... What are you, an infant? You need a friggin' realistic friggin' milk baby bottle? No, no. <laughs> we need we need to go straight from the tap. Now, now we're cooking with oil. If you were an infant, you would want to go straight from the tap, yeah. you asshole. <laughs> what, do you need a bottle? No. <laughs> God, it's just... Are imagine. they trying to make this a sexy thing? They think it's sexy. Oh, God. It's fucking gross. It's super gross. Andy, this is so off-putting. This entire show, 
I don't understand why someone would listen to this or watch this on purpose. I don't either. This is more steamy sex talk. We get worked up answering these things together. Yeah, so we get into the Swinger website like, together. A- after I messaged the 25-year-old Friday, we had sex for over an hour. Oh, yeah. It was hot. Real, On the couch. Real steamy. I hate when Brent says steamy. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> off-putting. Um, hey, do you, do you want to know where Brent likes to finish? Oh, no. Everybody want to know really about this? I really don't. My I like the kids in, better. I like the kids in the piz. <laughs> he, I told him, I said, you can even, you know, money shot me if you want, and he won't. He likes the kids in the piz. I don't that's know what that. The, I don't know what that means. That's what all the kids are saying these days. Oh, I just figured it out. <laughs> it that long. I watched Sandy yeah. figure that out. Like, but seriously, like, do I have to fucking solve a puzzle to yes. listen to this? Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> Fuck. God. <laughs> It's gross and <laughs> nonsensical. Oh, God. It's oh, fucking great. God. All right. I really, I'm, I'm pulling the plug on many of these clips. I just can't anymore. I know. I'm with you on that. We need but to the one on. thing that we have to play mm-hmm. is this is the one when Brent was worried that because of COVID, they were going to run out of beer. Clip seven is the beer shortage theory. Okay. I was going to talk about the article that you sent me, Caitlin, about... Um, this is a shock to me that there's going to be a shortage of uh, beer and soda and carbonated drinks. Well, first of all, as soon as you got the shortage of beer, I could I didn't read any further. Yeah. Nobody told me that this was going on, but I guess because of ethanol, uh, one of the byproducts of ethanol is carbon, like the, the CO2 that they, they make the beer with. But so many people are not driving right now. They're not making as much ethanol. So the plants that make the carbon where we, you know, carbonate the beer is... Um, uh, is running short. So what you do is you tell the cops, hey, we're practicing social distancing, but we're protesting in our cars. We're locking up the streets, but you'll keep burning gas so the CO2 will steep, keep coming so we won't run out of beer. We cannot run out of beer. Yes. We need your help. We need every, every, we've all. We need people buying gas so we can get CO2. It, it's it's stupid, but it's connected. Well, yeah. Ethanol it, and CO2 are connected. We need fucking gas so that we can make, have beer. Yeah, exactly. Let's go. This is the stupidest fucking shit I've ever heard. I don't think he understood that article that he read. He doesn't understand <laughs> anything. I don't think he understood that all right. at all. Listen. Car- Do you want to explain There's- this? Yeah. Let me explain it to a fucking moron on Twitch. Carbon, is- everything is made out of carbon. There's different versions of carbon. Yes. Carbon dioxide is what the, bub- the bubbles in drinks are. Okay. What comes out of your car is carbon monoxide. Yeah, it's a you don't want it. You don't want to eat that. Right. <laughs> now, when you make beer, the yeast eats the sugar, the sugar makes the alcohol, and it carbonates itself. Yeah. You're not going to run out of fucking beer. Correct. It now, has nothing to, to do with s- driving your yeah. car. Now, if you want to sit in your car and make carbon monoxide, please run a hose from the tailpipe <laughs> into your fucking car and fucking kill yourself. You don't know how to make beer. You're not going to run out of beer. Just fucking settle down. I've never seen Andy more animated than when somebody didn't understand how beer is made. <laughs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> that that, that was very articulate. <laughs> I'm telling everybody we're going to run out of beer. That is that is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. It was so still when I heard fucking that. Idiots. I was just like, ah. Oh. God, I can't listen to this anymore. And then there was two more hours. And their whole life revolves around fucking strangers and getting drunk, which is great when you're 19. It's called college. Like their lifestyle is what you do when you think you're going to get your liberal arts degree in three more years. That's when you do that. When you're in your 50s and you're no longer on the Howard Stern show or the Bubba the Love Spud show, it's not cute anymore. It's embarrassing. It is. Why do so many people put the most embarrassing things about themselves on the internet? Why? <laughs> it seems so easy to just hide that shit. Yeah. Hide it. <sighs> I don't know. Also, Caitlin's boobs are gross. Have I mentioned <laughs> that? <laughs> Can we all agree on that, please? I, I really, you know, I'm... I don't really have anything that I want to talk about anymore. I have some clips left, but I want to skip them except for clip 14. Okay. This is episode one of his show. He's already turning into stuttering John. Oh boy. Okay. If you haven't been here uh, for the daily chats, head for the mountains, head for bush beer. So it's time to have a bush beer. 
Woo! Five o'clock. Let's have a beer. Ah, oh, what? It's been quite the first day. Oh my god. This, that's know. his first episode. Yep. Jesus Christ, dude! Do not copy Stuttering John. <laughs> This is the best really advice worse. I can give to anyone who's hoping to start a show on the internet yeah. that's popular. Whatever John's doing, do the opposite. Yeah, it's the blueprint for what not to do. Correct. Correct. All right. You ready to move on? I think we should. I just have one more clip that I, yeah. I, I noticed I didn't play that I really should. Because this proves that everything that they're doing where they're rehashing the L.A. story. And by the way, I don't care. I, I really don't care. But they're lying. They're lying about it. And this is how you know that when Caitlin asks Brent this question. We're having sex on the bed. And uh, he may... What did we decide I was going to say? You were able to fully finish. I was able to fully finish with him. What did we decide I was going to say? This sounds like something someone would ask if there was a story that was made up. (laughs) That they came up with together. What did we decide was going to be that guy's story? Yeah. So when we're on the air, I'm eight inches long and <laughs> yeah, you're right. fully satisfied. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, one other funny thing, because it just I just like to rip on Brent because he sucks. Somebody asked, because they're, they're taking all the questions. Somebody asked if he's going to do Bubba's show. Because Brent worked for Bubba. He knows Bubba very well. Are you going to do his show? Not Will Brent really, ever um... appear on Bubba's show? Yes. Yes, he's just. I've got to be invited. I can't. This it's not my can't show. Just show up. Well, so you haven't been invited. He moved to Florida, where Bubba is. Yeah, he hasn't been invited to do Bubba's show. Yeah. I would make up a lie. That's where you want to lie. <laughs> yeah, we're working on it. We're trying to get a date that works for everybody. We'll, we'll get it figured out. Where nobody know, nobody knows that we're both on Twitch, but <laughs> right. we haven't reached out to each other. Fucking idiots. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Why haven't you done Bubba's show? Oh, because I'm not a famous or interesting person. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. He probably only wants to have famous, interesting people on. Yeah, okay. I, it's that gotta, story checks it's out. It's got to be that Bubba wants nothing to do with you because neither one of you have anything going on right now. Who are these podcasts?